In a shocking change of policy, now former IDF Chief of Staff Gadi Eisenkot revealed on Sunday to the British Sunday Times newspaper that Israel has indeed been supplying weapons and funding to Syrian rebel groups in the Golan Heights. These claims have been made many times throughout the years, but this is the first time an Israeli official has confirmed such reports, and it came on the same day that Eisenkot admitted responsibility for striking, quote, thousands of targets in Syria as well. Until now, Israel has only ever discussed humanitarian aid shipments and programs like Operation Good Neighbor. Earlier this week, Prime Minister and Defense Minister Benjamin Netanyahu also broke with Israel's tradition of ambiguity in Syria by adding to Eisenkot's comments. He confirmed not only that Israel carried out hundreds of attacks against Iranian and Hezbollah targets, but also that Israel struck Damascus International Airport last weekend, a break from policy that at the time was considered just a campaign ploy. In his interview with the British Sunday Times, however, Eisenkot continued that the weapons shipments to rebel groups consisted of light munitions for self-defense, while a September report by Foreign Policy magazine quoted alleged Syrian rebel leaders and soldiers as saying Israel was arming and funding at least a dozen different groups to prevent Iranian and Iranian proxy forces from advancing southward. In fact, Foreign Policy wrote that Israel transferred assault rifles, machine guns, mortar launchers, vehicles, and more. That being said, rebel groups in the region still reportedly feel abandoned by Israel, both due to the lack of Israeli intervention during Assad's recapturing of Syrian territory and due to the discontinuing of Israeli military and humanitarian aid that followed.